Hi guys, welcome to Accounting Online. Today I will show you how to post the opening child balance and individual balances for customers and suppliers in Sage 50 accounts. So this is my topic for today, opening child balance when we have individual balances for customers and suppliers. Um, for this I will take you to my trial balance which has been finalized as at 31st of May 2016. It shows you the opening balances for different nominal codes starting from freehold property. I have highlighted the opening balance for debtors control account and creditors control account because I have the breakdown for these figures. If I take you to my second sheet, you will see it here. That is balances are the customers balances um, for four different customers and creditors balances are the supplier balances for three different suppliers. There are three ways of posting opening balances in Sage 50 accounts. Today I will show you the first method which is recommended by Sage and for this reason I will go to tools and I will click on opening balances. As you can see from this window it shows a step by step approach to post the opening balances for, first for customers then suppliers and then the whole of the trial balance. So the first step is I will click on this one which says enter a default date for your opening balances. So I will click on this one and set my default date for the opening balances. So the default date for opening balances is you can take it from your trial balance which is here. It says 31st of May 2016. So I will go back and I will put here 31st of May 2016 and I will click on save. This sales date entered is outside current financial year. Of course, the new financial is starting from 1st of June 2016. So current this date is going to be outside of the current financial year. And do you want to continue? I will click on yes. Um, it shows you the date here and the box is ticked. It means we have completed the first step. Then I will quickly go to entering open balances for your customers and I will see this window here. So what I need to do is I will go back to my opening child balance and then individual balances for the customers. So my first customer opening balance is 1560. So I will go by here and write here CC. Name is CC. Date will be appearing here as I have set this date as the default date and reference is going to be reference. If you have the invoice number you can put the invoice number manually here and external reference I'm going to leave it here department I'm going to leave it like this and this is going to be invoice and the gross amount is going to be 1560 okay second one is going to be racket general this one is going to be racket and the same date and the amount is 680 sorry it's 680 and then I have Simon construct and do it here. It says 3650. 3650. The next one is Cornishing Mining, and this is going to be your and amount is 750. You can quickly check it again against the opening balances in your file which is 6640 and this is 6640 and I will click on save. Once it's done this box will be ticked and I will be going to the next step which says opening balances for suppliers. So if I go back and I will see it here the first supply is SP electrical which is SP electrical and in here I want to show you something this is here in type you can either post the credit note or you can post the invoice. So the first one for SP electrical is invoice which is 1298. This is 1298. Next one is going to be next one if you see it here it shows you the credit note for number is 21. 
and here invoice number was 1258 if I'm not wrong okay 1258 and credit note reference was 21 so you can put 21 here and here you can select the type as credit and amount is 452 452 okay next balance is for Morrison's click here and this is going to be 6535 6535 and the last one is Savaron Limited you can click here Savaron Limited and this one will come here this is 6800 this is 6800 and total is 14181 this is 14181 and I will click on save okay the next step is this this is ticked because we have completed the opening balances for suppliers the next step is check the customer and supplier opening balances when I click here it will run me the three reports the first report is going to be agent debtors analysis the second is going to be agent credit analysis and the third one is going to be opening child balance but only for the opening balances for the creditors and the and the debtors because we have only done the opening balances for the customers and suppliers you can give a date range you can leave it open because only the data for debtors and creditors control account is in there when I click OK you will see Okay, very open. You will see three reports here. So, first one is aged debtors analysis, the second one is aged creditor analysis, and the third one is period trial balance. Now, this is interesting to see. If you see here, debtors control account nominal code is 1100, it says 6640, which is exactly as in my PDF file, and creditors control account is 14181, which is exactly in my PDF file. If I go back and the remaining has been posted in the suspense account because you have to equal the credit side with the debit side. What you can do is I can I will save it as a single document and I will save it on my desktop. Click here and I can write here trial balance opening balances. You end it 31st May 2016. I will save it. Once I save it, I can close this window and I will go back. This box is ticked. What it does, reverse the nominal balances. The next step is reverse the nominal balances in preparation for entering the trial balance. What Sage would do, as we could see, it's here, 